Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with another cue and haircut for you guys. Thank you so much for all the requests that you guys have been submitting. If you want to submit an idea for a haircut uh, for this show, post in the comments below. Let me know what you're looking for and I'll uh, try to create that video content for you guys. Um, today, we had our request from, um, I can't pronounce the name. Here's the question. Uh, it was for the Tyra Banks 2015 pixie haircut. So Tyra Banks last year chopped her hair off. I do know this one. Um, so I went in, I did step-by-step -step haircut for you guys. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Um, here is our end result. It's obviously on a mannequin. It's not on Tyra Banks. So it's going to look a little bit different, but uh, it's very similar uh, if you look at it. So here's the picture that was sent to me to show me what Tyra Banks haircut looked like. We'll put it here. And um, the so yeah so we went through uh there's a lot of technique involved in a pixie haircut i believe uh pixie haircuts are hard for people because there's so many aspects of where the head shape is going to show through if you round it off too much it's going to make their head look like uh, a round bowl so um you know there's a lot of different things that go into cutting a pixie cut to make sure that you get the result that you're looking for so this is a great haircut. I appreciate the request. A lot of people requested pixie haircuts, so I'm hoping that this will kind of help you guys out. Obviously, you can take this haircut and you can alter it and change it and make it your own. So um, follow it step by step. Let me know if you have any questions, post them below. Also use the hashtag free salon education. I'd love to see your results on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Check out this video. Here we go. Here is our pixie cut. All right, to start off, sectioning is very simple. Parietal ridge down to a point at low crown. Then I take a diagonal back section, um, leaving about two inches from the hairline out, uh, following the round of the head. Then we start off our cutting right directly above the ear. I like to start my guideline there, especially with the Tyra Banks looking haircut because she's very short around the ear. So we start there, we get um, our guideline cut, then everything is a... Um, a traveling guide from that first cutting point working diagonal forward and uh, elevation is straight out from the head uh, higher elevation creating layers at this point no graduation in the haircut now I go around the ear with my scissor just cutting with the tip and cleaning up around the ear uh, one thing that I like about the haircut that was requested is that it's clean and tight around the ear uh, it looks really nice now we're going to continue diagonal back um, cutting palm to palm and then we work a vertical section straight down center back to start the layering in the back of the head. Now we want to focus on pretty much creating 90 degree layers. The only part that's going to be graduated in the back of the head here is the very top of the section and the reason that's graduated is because the head is starting to move away. We want to have a slight buildup of weight in the crown. It always looks better when you're cutting pretty much any haircut. So now over direction is slightly back uh, to the previous. So it is building up a little bit of weight around the corner. Um, I'm not trying to round off that corner too much. What I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll go through and manually do that right afterwards. So we're finishing up going around that corner, building up that weight, and now I'm just gonna connect it to the sides uh, using a diagonal back section as well. The thing I love about pixie cutting, and this is something that I think this is where the struggle happens with people, is they're so stuck in cutting exactly the same all the way through the haircut, they don't make these little shifts. Like this shift right here is now rounding off. So I created kind of a triangular feel in the corner of the haircut, but now I'm going through and rounding it off. The reason I do that is I like to shift weight over. It, haircutting to me is it's more important to focus on where you're putting the weight than necessarily where you're always taking off the weight. So I pushed it to that corner, then I slightly rounded it off, but it gives the haircut uh, the shape that I'm looking for. And that's the goal. So now I'm going through vertically again, removing the weight, creating that layering, there's a slight, again, graduation at the very top of the section, and that's only because of the head shape shifting away, but I like having a little bit of that weight sitting at the top parietal area of the head. Going through with the tip of my scissor, again, cleaning up around the ear and around the hairline. Connecting it from the front to the back, using round a round shape, following the round of the head, and then now my finger angle is pointed down, still working vertically, from center back in the head, running vertical sections all the way down the head. 
over directing to the previous section, basically taking my guide line, grabbing the new hair, pulling it slightly over to the guide. Then when I hit this corner, I over direct everything back, which that's where you start to see that triangular feel of the haircut, where it starts to push that weight towards the ear. Then I go through and I just round it off. And what you'll see is I'm over directing pretty much everything stationary. That's why it keeps that build up in the crown. So it creates the shape that I'm looking for. All right, now we work into the top. I'm gonna part it exactly where I want the haircut to be parted. Uh, so I would talk to my guest, figure out where they wanna part it and start the haircut from there. We're gonna work with the round of the head. I'm gonna work on top of my fingers now, rounding off the shape on the short side of the head. I don't want a lot of graduation. I'm not trying to um, build up too much weight over here. This is the skinny side of the haircut. Um, I think that's what makes it a little bit more of a modern feel to a pixie haircut. Then I go through and I start connecting the crown area, working sort of uh, it transitions from a diagonal back on the right side to moving into a diagonal back or diagonal forward on the, the left side. But just connecting that crown, building up that graduation in the back, it just gives it a really nice shape. Now I go in, this is the heavy side of the haircut. I'm gonna connect that point that we started with the crown of the head. I'm gonna connect that to um, the side area of the head. I guess that's a, it's as technical as I can get with that right now. But uh, we're gonna go through over directing everything back to the previous. Then when I hit um, about three inches from, so about this point right here, I'm gonna over direct everything pretty much straight back to me. So you can see that over direction going through point cutting. Pushes all that weight to the front. Um, that gives me the weight to work with when I wanna cut the bang like uh, the picture that I was sent. So now we're gonna go through and do a fun technique. This is a reverse slide cutting. So all I do is I take my thumb out of the normal way, I put it in the opposite direction, and then I just slide my scissor down. What I've done is I've grabbed a little triangle chunk. Think about if you guys are colorists or anything like that, you grab that triangle for balayage, it's kind of like that. So I'm pulling it, pinching it together in my fingers. This is gonna give me separated pieces and kind of a chunkiness in the bang area. And then I just slide cut through. We're not looking for anything perfect at this point. What we're looking for is a textured uh, movement in the bang area. That's what's gonna separate this pixie cut from the rest. Just finding that last little bit, slide cutting through. Really simple. I got my Mizutani scissors. I love these scissors. Um, we have them on freesaloneducation.com. So if you're looking for new scissors, definitely check them out. Um, last little bit, working a diagonal back section. Um, just to, really just to push the top of the hair away. I don't wanna cut all of the hair, but the hair that's gonna be right at her face, right on the hairline, I wanna go through and just shorten that from the over direction that I created. So once again, I brought hair over, pushed extra hair where I wanted to cut into it later. Now, fastest blow dry ever, going through. You can see the shape coming to life, that crown, the weight building up in the crown. Uh, I love this style of pixie cut. Uh, you can see the separation in the bang as well. We're gonna go through with Percato Carve. <laughs> I've used it in almost every video because I like it for any kind of texture in a haircut. And then uh, I start by running, it's a cream wax based product. I start by running it through the back of the hair. Then I go into the front. The biggest mistake people can make is taking all that product on their hands and running it through the front of their hair first. Um, it just gets too much product in the front of the head. Now I go through and I, I like that Tyra Banks kind of has it a little tighter in the back. So I just go through and customize it with a little scissor over comb. Uh, working with our YS Park 332 comb, it's got wider teeth. Uh, the rest of the haircut I, I did with a 334 comb, uh, which has tighter teeth, more precision cutting. So that's the end result. Hope you guys like this haircut. Please post your requests below. I'd love to know what cuts you want to see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.